Hi, my name is Aaron Stonehouse and I'm the leader of the Liberal Democrats WA and the member for the South Metropolitan Region in the Parliament of Western Australia. Today I'm excited to announce the details of my bill legalising Airsoft, the Firearms Amendment Airsoft Bill 2019, also known as the WA Airsoft Bill. Under my bill, Airsoft would be legal in Western Australia. Anyone can play Airsoft, and if you're under 16, you'll need to be accompanied by a parent or guardian. You can own your own Airsoft marker if you're 18 years and older, and if you have a firearms license. The types of markers you'll be able to buy and own are those which are powered by gas, battery, and spring. There are limitations on the performance of Airsoft markers. Basically, my bill breaks them into two categories. Airsoft markers with fully automatic operation and airsoft markers with semi-automatic operation and any other type. For fully automatic airsoft markers, there is a maximum pellet energy of 1.3 joules. For semi-automatic markers or any other type, you can have them up to a maximum of 2.5 joules. Now bear in mind that Airsoft markers, for the purpose of my legislation, means any type of marker that discharges or propels airsoft pellets. Now that can include a marker that resembles a rifle, or it can include a marker that resembles a grenade, or even a mortar. And yes, those do exist. If you don't want to go to the hassle of getting a firearms license, you can always rent out an airsoft marker at an airsoft venue. Airsoft markers use pellets, or BBs. Under my bill, you'll be able to buy and use BBs that are at least 6mm and no bigger than 8mm in diameter, at least 0.12 grams and not heavier than 0.5 grams in weight, and that are made of plastic or biodegradable materials. This is an airsoft marker. Now you're going to have to brighten it up a bit. That involves adorning your marker with three one centimeter bands that are colored either bright green, yellow, orange, or pink. And if your marker has a muzzle, you're going to have to cover that with a bright orange tip. Now the catch here is that you're allowed to remove all your coloration when you're playing a game at an airsoft venue. Airsoft clubs will be allowed to apply for permits to hold temporary events. These are a big deal. We have a beautiful landscape here in WA, and I can't wait to see the first large-scale game here in the Outback. So, those are the main parts of my bill. There are plenty of other details you may want to know, depending on how much you want to get into the game. Be sure to sign up to my campaign at goairsoft.com.au, your one-stop shop for everything about the WA Airsoft Bill. I'll catch you later.